Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're still on the Groundbreaker, the giant ship that's just floating here outside of uh, the well, most of the influence of, although it doesn't really seem like it, right? Outside of the influence of the corporations, the board, as they call it, and uh, yeah. Seems like uh, they do have a lot of influence because they even have their own fancy building here. But we're here to drink and uh, make merry because we're going to have a little chat with Parvati again at the beginning of this episode. No. How's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? I'm guessing we, we can just get get a table, right? This this seems this seems right. Um, let's just talk to her. Okay, so. What are we drinking? You're the expert. Maybe not too alcoholic. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Uh Let us start slow. Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, no, that's just that's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know. I just been lying awake thinking about what June Lay said and I feel my heart shake. Okay, so let's start slow. Oh, beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. Bottoms up. Beer, huh? Good choice, if you want to get unsober in a hurry. Ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Um, generally or specifically, uh, whining it sounds like, okay. Uh, enjoying a drink with your friends? Huh. Yeah. I guess we are that, huh? Friends. Friends give each other counsel, right? What do you think I should do about June Lay? Because I feel about as aimless as an automac with a busted nav chip. You want to know what I think? I think you should write what you want to say down in your hand. Always work for me. I'm starting to regret taking Felix along with this. Starts by telling me why her message got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Maybe you can just talk to her. What did she actually write in the message? You haven't said yet. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? Um, what is this really about? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. I can persuade her to get some water, because I don't think alcohol is going to fix this. Let's get you some water. Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. A little woozy. Hydration. Here I come. Good thinking, boss. You just saved Parvati a whole lot of trouble. Thanks, Felix. Shush you. <laughs> oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. Ashley Birch is the bomb, by the way. That was some amazing voice acting. Um, You need to get over it. What about me? Hmm. I want to talk to Junlei all the time. About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we we get together and she gets bored of me? Well, you're gonna have to take a risk. Don't stop there on a roll. <laughs> um, there's an easy way to get answers to all those questions. Oh, there's nothing easy about... About spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? 
what if she is, but then later, she's not. Well, it's not going to help you being scared about that now. Then you go your separate ways. I'm not interested in physical affection either. You can't control how people react to you, even people you care about. What do you mean, Captain? The only thing you can control is you. There we go. So if I'm doing my very best to be kind and open-hearted, I shouldn't worry how she thinks of me? Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. I think ungenerous thoughts. I think we all do, Parvati. We all do. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person. Worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. That was some amazing writing and voice acting. That was great. So, are you going to ask her out? Oh gosh, I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Yes. Definitely. You're still unsure. Yes, just ask her. Alright, alright. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean... Probably. I am gonna drag you over Thanks there. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. You're welcome. You know something, Parvati? You ought to come drinking with the crew more often. Huh. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Is that a hint that what this game ends with? Because that was really specific. Take Parvati back to the ship. Okay, we'll do it. Oh, hi, Felix. Yeah, where's my order? Yes. I'm gonna ramble out of here like the good person, the captain of the unreliable I am. There we go, let's see where we need to go. I sounded like Harrison Ford there for a minute. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Yeah, we need to help somebody in the medical bay. Um, I don't have the quest active, but I know I needed I to talk to Ellie. You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Finhill. I am not making a scene. Is that another... I feel like there's a lot of redheads in this game. I'm sorry, am I causing a scene? Oh, are you another potential crew Seems member? Zero. We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Ooh. My wife to be is na her name is Jesse. Uh, what's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Okay. Um if you don't even like her, but you're checking on her. Why, yeah, why are you doing that? You say that like it's weird. Y yeah, yeah, yes. Um, that's just very noble of you. It is most certainly not. And watch where you go saying that, okay? You're going to give people the wrong idea. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid. That's all. Um. Okay, maybe I can take a look at... Uh, look in on... Jessie? If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Well, I have a silver tongue. The quest objective requires you to enter a restricted area. If called inside, you will be shot on sight. Using a disguise will prevent immediate hostilities. Okay, but maybe I can talk my way around this. So, hello, Dr. M. Furu. Wait, I'm wondering about... This, this place isn't really... This place isn't guarded, so if I go if I go in there, does that mean that the doctors are gonna start shooting me? Sounds a bit counterproductive, but something I can help you with? Well, yes, can you get me in there? If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Miss Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. Okay, the records say, have you actually spoken to her yourself? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records. 
If that's what you're implying. That was exactly what I was implying. So, uh, okay, that seems to be ending the conversation. Take care. But by Dr. Mfuru. Can I? How do I? Okay, I'm gonna have to check about that later. But if I go, how do I know if something is restricted? By the way. So if I, if I open that up, I probably can't just go in here, right? Or can I? No, nobody seems mad just yet. Okay, so that's restricted access. Call it. It's it's quite clear. Restricted access, very bright, very restricted. Okay, so but there's another named doctor here. One dot or set. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter captain. Something like that. If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Okay. Wheeler told me to tell you to get off his ass about the shipment. Uh, yeah, it's not coming soon. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Can I... Uh, I could try to find him. What do you need the mechanicals for? Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. Okay. Uh, why's that? The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Makes sense. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. Okay, I could try to find Irion. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. That's a Greek mythology reference. Scylla. Scylla and Charybdis. So the two paired sea monsters guarding the uh, the trench that uh, Odysseus needed to uh, actually pass through in his uh, quest. So that's interesting. Uh, Ellie. I'm guessing Ellie is also a companion. She looks like a bit more designed than everybody else. Um, which is not to say that those other outfits don't look cool, but you, you get to see a few of them around this place. Waste disposal. What else do we have here? Bell's shells. Are you a, a weapons dealer then? You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah, <sighs> that's how you know your weapon loves you back. Yes, a weapon dealer. I got a dealer. full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. Okay. Uh, what's the benefit of modifying my weapons? Let's see what you got for sale. There we go, sold all my junk. Uh, she doesn't really hold interesting weaponry. Uh, not really something that we haven't seen just yet. Uh, I could take Parvati back to the ship, but let's talk to the black market dealer for that code first. Gladys actually seems to be in the rest and go, which we, I think, already knew. Ah, uh, the old rest and go. With all the luxury and comfort of a shipping container. Okay, let's have a little check in here, and hello Gladys. Bless my heart, a stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient, or an oven, just like store-bought. Okay, uh, Phineas sent me. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. I don't particularly find myself lacking in the bits, but uh, that's an interesting way of putting it. But 10,000 bits is, of course, a bit too much for me. So tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little more flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms, not really. Let me hear the details. Do you know Edna over in engineering? 
Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Hmm. So why was it abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. An abandoned outpost? You think it's haunted? Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Okay, so that rules out Those the automatic are message. Clever than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Okay, I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corps fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Good point. And uh, since they're all on the same board, it might actually destroy that board as well. So abandoned outpost, corporate secrets, got it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Indeed. So what other jobs do you know about? Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. Well, yeah. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. I don't know, ma'am. She seemed pretty neat to me. Well, aren't you sweet? And just her type, too. What? What's that supposed to mean? Forget I said anything. Wait, what? That was... interesting. Um... Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Oh, I got a cookie! Take a candy with you. A purple berry bunch. That is good. Ooh, there's a fancy safe in this room as well. And a Sprat. I hear a Sprat. I saw it running around here. Hi. I love Sprats. They make funny noises. Can I pick those up? I can, actually. Those are all mine. And there's a broken robot. And it's all stuff I can carry. Adreno. Okay. Ugh. A lot of trash in the corner here. Come on, Felix, get out of the way. Um, so seems like now I would want to change the subject. So let's check the quest log. And I need, yeah, I want to go check the happiness is a warm spaceship quest. So get new parts for the radiators from the uh, back base. And how do we access that? Salvage parts. Salvage parts. So now that we have Felix with us, I'm hoping... That will actually help us out a little bit. Because Felix is supposedly also from the back base. So he might help us get in, in that in that area since uh, Chunlei talked about it being very, very dangerous. So let's go down. Okay, and I automatically pull out my weapon for some reason. So let's just... Were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now or you'll parley with the king. Hey, I know this guy. Okay, so Felix knows this guy. Can, can we can we talk to him then? Or can you talk to him? Somehow I always find my way back to the Groundbreaker. No, no, I wanted to talk to you. Uh, never mind. Okay, let's, let's go talk to this guy. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Hi. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. First, I'm gonna... Hey, Felix! Look, everyone, it's Felix! Well, hey there, your lordship. Good to see you again. Is this... a nice man, a friend of yours, Felix? Seeing you here feels like old times. Now, what brings you down to my sprat-infested broom closet of a kingdom? Um, 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 I'm here for some parts Chen Lei sent me. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. Uh, so I, can, can I grab that part then? You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. 
You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. Uh, bribe, attack, or lie, but lie is 40 and I'm not at 40 just yet. I can bribe him. Tribute it is. And ain't this just a royal sum? That's quite a bit of co bits. Wow, look at you, boss. Impressing his lordship with your courtly manners. Uh, uh don't we need those bits, Captain? To buy the key from the lady? No, she, she, she she's way too expensive. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Okay. There was something else, though. Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. So how, how did you know... How, oh, how did you end up back here? Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to Sublight. Scrapped for parts. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Bureaucracy is piracy with a smile. Sounds a lot like what happened to me. Am I your dark reflection? Shit, must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. Okay, be seeing you, buddy. Any friend of Felix is free to wander, but I got eyes on you. Okay, Captain you McRed. Can come and go in my little kingdom. Just try not to piss off any of the gestures. Okay. Um, I actually need to check out Felix's uh, equipment here. So his stats are pretty balanced, so melee and ranged is both on 38. Which means that I should probably give him something big. He's already using a grenade launcher. Um, I could give him, because the grenade launcher, how much does that do? It's a pretty, it's a level 7 grenade launcher, so 173. And the toss ball stick is also level 7, 135. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do better than that. So yeah, I'm... I'm supposing he's fine with all of that, uh, so let's just leave it at that. But the armor might probably improve. So melee weapon skill plus 5 and 10 armor. Or we go with... Yeah, I'm going to give him the helmet and then this body armor. There we go. He looks pretty awesome in that. Standard troop armor, 14 armor with the sneak plus 7. Although his streetwear isn't actually bad. It's 10 armor and it gives you plus 5 in the melee weapon skill. Eh, let's just keep it like that. So, I'm looking for a way of getting up. Ooh, scrap mechanical. That looks really, really cool. Um, but we need to... I think there was a ladder over here. Maybe that'll get me high enough. Let's climb this. Okay, that seems to go into... Oh, there was a staircase. I'm blind. I'm blind. Never mind. You've been getting into the boss's special stash again, haven't you? Huh. Am I not allowed in here? I think I am, right? I, th I think I'm just allowed in here, because it looks like you, you could sneak in through that. But these guys don't seem to mind. So let's just go all the way in the back and grab a radiator part. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ, my heart again for the level up. But, level 8, let's check that out. So let's bump tech uh, up 2 points so we get 40 in medical, which is unlock the third drug mixing slot for the inhaler and engineering, breakdown weapons and armor for a 20% chance to extract a basic mold. It's already good. And then I think the remaining, well, the next 7 points are going to go into dialogues, where I get lion intimidate to 40 as well, scramble duration up 7 seconds, and terrifies area of effect plus 100%, so doubled. Uh, and then I have one more point, and that point is going to go into ranged. There we go. There we go. That's that, so let's apply that. And then the perks, we still need to check use from the first tier, which is interesting. So I need five previous perks to go into the next tier. I'm just going to go for resilience. So you have a base armor rating, which adds to any armor you wear. So that's plus five base armor rating. There we go. Got that as well. So now our armor rating is up to... So current armor rating is 14 on the head and 19 on the body armor. Does that actually mean that I have... Um, is that extra? Oh yeah, it does actually add 5 to both the head and the body armor. So that's basically 10 extra armor or not. Or is that not combined together? Might be not combined together. But now we can talk to Chen Lei. 
about the parts we just got. So back in the promenade, back in engineering, we talked to Chun Lei to actually fix up the machines here. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Okay, I got the parts uh, for the radiator. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation. Mantipillar. Um, define slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Okay, I'll make my way down there. Well, don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Okay, so there's more to generate than meets the eye if we get to take Gladys's word on it. Because uh, she was talking about Parvati being exactly her type. Which is a bit weird. I'm guessing this is going down, right? Hello, fellas. You, you're ready to go over there? This actually goes pretty deep. So... That sounds chittery. That sounds chittery. Oh gold! Oh what the fuck is this? Uh Um, I need to get out of stealth here. It's hiding over there. Okay, I need to reload this thing. That was horrifying, what the hell? Um, Felix? Felix? Okay, they killed him. Okay, they killed whatever was up here. I gave them good weapons, which is... Wow, that's that thing is horrifying. A manti pillar. Wait, am I burning? Why am I... Okay, yeah, because of this thing gives... These radiators give off heat. That kind of makes sense. Um, I shouldn't probably just... Walking too close to them. Um, where is... The room we need to go to. I'm probably Good guessing news. it's. Song tells me the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of mantis. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Okay, great. Sneak past if you can. Shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later. Okay, so that's definitely not good. So the robots are gonna fire at us, and this one is barred, so we need to take the long way around. I think so. There we go. I'm gonna have to kill them anyway. Uh, slowly moving our way up. So again, robots. We fought robots before. This is not. This is not that much of a problem. We're used to fighting robots, and they seem to be all in the next room. Did they kill? They indeed did kill a few of the the manti pillars. So it seems like for now. They're all downstairs, but of course we also need to go downstairs. It's exactly over there. That's the terminal. I have the parts in position on my side. Go ahead and cycle the drop off. There we go. Look for a command center. Cycle drop off. Oh, he's firing at the one above us. Okay. Felix, for fuck's sake. Felix is down. Wait, there we go. Felix, are you okay? Oh, God. Seems like he has a bit of trouble with the railing like we did. And there he goes. There he goes. Felix is back up and running. Um, I think I'm just gonna 
Yeah, I'm just gonna leave my health as it is. Felix, if I sneak past a bunch of robots, you don't need to start shooting at them once I engage the one that the ones that don't even need to be sure that. Come on, buddy. Keep with the program. So that's the terminal. Let's check this out. So we can use the terminal. Uh, solid state radiator is at 102 capacity. PCM heat sinks at 98 capacity. Let's cycle the... You know what? Let's check the logs first. Couple together. The staff is getting restless. Work around in half-cocked solutions. Or all we've got the mend groundbreaker's bones. In many cases, we can't revive one system without cannibalizing another. Grandma lived with that reality and so will I. I can rally our spirits, but what happens when I'm not around? Groundbreaker's real test will be seeing if our independence outlasts me. I'll take that bet. Found some of Chief Guiying's old schematics. Groundbreaker must have taken a beating during the crossing because she spent half of her career patching it up. A lot of corners cut when they put this place together. Among her papers I also found the layout of a hangar that doesn't match any of my docks. Something that might have gotten sealed off along the way like blood cells isolating an infection. I hate to put sentiment down in print but every time I open a panel or find some workaround in the guts of this old bird it's like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. Okay, so there's a secret room. Um, but we can cycle the droplet pumps. Non-expendable personnel must exit the maintenance shaft before activating the cycling protocol. Done. The temperatures are dropping. Um, does that... Okay. So we need to make our way out of this again, because it, it sounded like it's going to be dangerous if we stay here. There is another terminal over here, though, the one we missed because we were too busy looking at the giant aliens. It is my honor to report that Groundbreaker has successfully arrived at the Lagrange point, so this is from the previous chief. Having released our cargo of prefab housing, settlers and supplies at their intended colony worlds, may they prosper and expand. Now that stages 1 and 2 of the mission have been carried out, my family will take ownership of the Groundbreaker as specified in our contract. Keeping the ship in active duty as an independent trading post, repair shop, and cargo bay. I'd be remiss if I closed this transmission without sending my hopes and best wishes back to Earth. There's so much ahead of us, but we'll never forget what we left behind. And then a stern reminder, some very rich and unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors seem to have the wrong idea about why I flew us out here. It wasn't for a nine-figure blood money salary and a Spaces Choice logo stamped on my ass. It wasn't to nickel and dime passing ships out of their last pit. Groundbreaker has no role in the success or failure of Halcyon's corporate entities, period. I negotiated that understanding and clearly outlined it in writing before I ever set foot on the ship. If anyone wants to dispute or compromise our independence, they will answer to a Tennyson. We're a family operation and even when the last Tennyson falls, Groundbreaker will remember us and defend its freedom accordingly. So that's uh, Jun Lei's grandmother then. Interesting. So they clearly own the ship. But she doesn't seem to be regarded as the owner of the ship at the moment. It's just a feeling, but I feel like those that other family, the Mardettes, I think, has more of a hand in all of this. But let's talk to Junlei and see what uh, how happy she is with all of our repairs. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's good. Um, so what's it like being in command around here? Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Okay, so it's a family business with new dads. Um, Parvati here could always help you shoulder the burden. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. 
Um, so aren't you a little young to be training a successor? You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. Okay, so back to my other questions. My and I think we can actually leave it at that. So we'll be on our way. Thank you, Jenny. And we have a lot of new quests open for us now uh, as well. But with that, I'm going to take a little break. We fixed up the ship. Uh, we met a few new people. And uh, we, well, talked to Parvati. We really got to know her a bit better as well. So uh, with that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, when we get back, we're going to still continue exploring the Groundbreaker. Because it's a, a really big ship with a lot of people on it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And see you guys in the next episode of The Outer Worlds. Goodbye.